Tonight, as the race to 5G heats up, the I-Team investigates looming privacy and security concerns. The 5G wireless signals that will eventually flood Chicago's airwaves start underground. It's all over, it's all over the city. New trenches. And special drills running block after block of fiber optic cable, building the backbone of the 5G network. It's almost like weaving together a blanket by starting in random areas and just starting to put things in the ground. And eventually, it's all connected together. The 4G signal is similar to flipping a switch, and suddenly a dark room is filled with light. 4G connects with everything that it touches. 5G works like a spotlight, targeting specific devices with a fast and focused connection. 5G has the potential to be 10 times faster than 4G, but its signal travels a much shorter distance. While one 4G tower could cover an area and connect devices miles away, 5G signal only reaches about 1,000 feet. So that means new 5G equipment may be on every other light pole, lining neighborhoods with new cellular equipment. We're moving towards internet of everything. That makes it easier to have much more targets. 5G will allow billions of new devices to connect with no processing delay or latency, real-time connections that will make technology like driverless cars possible. But experts warn more devices mean more potential targets for criminal hackers looking for sensitive data. When you have this um, connected network, you go for the weakest link. The I-Team discovered the beginnings of 5G hardware throughout Chicago, mounted on new light poles downtown. Experts say the biggest concern with 5G hardware may be where the equipment is manufactured. We see it as a national security threat as well as national economical threat in addition to the cybersecurity threat. Right now, the United States is locked in a battle with Huawei, a major telecom company headquartered in China, now leading the charge to 5G. The Trump administration is pushing U.S. allies not to use Huawei 5G equipment for fears that the company could install back doors in the network and spy on American communications. Huawei representatives deny claims the private company is connected to the Chinese government or engaged in cyber espionage. The United States, even at the highest classified levels, have not been able to provide evidence of substantial cybersecurity wrongdoing by Huawei. It is important that risk be addressed comprehensively and relative to all vendors to make sure the U.S. is safe, regardless of where the company is headquartered, regardless of where the company does business. It's a major concern. If the global 5G network eventually contains security backdoors that any one country can control, secret plans for weapons or warfare would be out in the open for spies to steal. Now you're building all these technologies to combat another nation. Well, they already have them. They've taken those plans and made them even better. So now they have better technology to counter whatever you have. And essentially, they know everything that's going on. But experts warn that a hard ban on Chinese equipment will put the U.S. even further behind in network deployment. Stopping 5G from coming in does not solve the problem. We need to come together as a nation and figure out the way to do it. There are a lot of moving parts tonight in the 5G machinery, even as the Trump administration last week blacklisted foreign tech firms as national security threats. Tonight, there are reports that some temporary 90-day licenses will be granted to overseas companies, including Huawei. This seems to be changing by the minute. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.